and welcome back. So today I have a different type of video for you guys. Today I'm going to talk about how to make your skins pay to win. So there's a kind of a lot of topics I can talk about here, so I'm going to basically kind of go over them. How to make your skins pay to win for maybe those who are looking to get a little bit more competitive and you may see characters uh, smaller than others and think, hey, maybe is this pay to win? Well, I'm going to kind of talk about that today and what skins you need to make your skins pay to win. So what's going on here? Uh, I'm going to definitely recommend, if you're wanting to make a pay to win skin, is to choose a female. Now, it, could, it doesn't necessarily uh, matter, really, but uh, here's a couple reasons why. Your skin, right, if you're looking at your uh, girl skin from behind, she takes up a lot less of the screen than, say, a male character would. Absolute Zero is a really good example. He's that general guy who's just a boy, right? He's just a rare skin. So, this is him, alright, and then you go to her. There's a lot of difference in terms of size, and I know it's not necessarily the biggest thing, but covering less of your screen is going to help you see around the map better. It's going to help you see, basically, your whole surroundings, what's below you, what's above you, a little bit better. Also, another pro tip is to actually use skins that are not bright, not black, and not necessarily having any sort of a lot of brightness color. So... Uh, when I say skins like black, Survival Specialist is a very good example. She is covered in black, and you may think, you know, black is more of a stealth type of thing, and it is. But when it's Fortnite, it's a lot different. There's so much colors on the map that it changes a lot. I mean, you look at around, like, let's go Greasy Grove, really good example. There's so many colors around that map. If you're target, it's definitely going to be a humongous, yo. Know, Okay, there's somebody right there. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you have all these bright colors, and then you're just that black set of just target, is what I'm trying to get at. And John Wick is a very good example. Uh, he does not take up a lot of screen, but he is just all black. He's not good for hiding in bushes if you have to, but uh, he's very easy to spot. And other characters, maybe even Redline is a little bit even more easier to spot. So, uh, what else can you do? Make your skin's camouflage. Jungle Scout. Really, really good example. She's got basically colors of like trees, terrain, rocks on her, and she's good for basically any scenario. She's a girl skin taking up less of the screen. She does not have anything that is on her head, which I will get to in a second. She is camouflage. Basically, is the biggest part about her. I use her a lot if I'm going to go for a competitive advantage. I mean, people may not see you coming from the woods as if they were to see survival specialists coming from the woods. You know what I mean? It takes a lot in. So, you might think a nightlight is another really good example too, but she is not. You may want to avoid using very bright people like her, the Dark Vanguard, and the Dark Voyager up here. The reason why is pretty obvious is the fact that they are a humongous target. They have a lot of light on them and can be seen in bushes, uh, around trees, uh, in houses. Say you're low health and you have to hide in a house. That is going to be giving you away so much. Also, not to mention that the headpiece, like I said, may affect you. Triceratops is a really good example. She has... A humongous head. Yes, she is a girl skin. Yes, she can be a little bit camouflage with the red, but when you look at her head, she has a little bit of horns. She has a humongous, like, I don't even know what you would call that. It was just, it's just a big ear thing. I don't even know what you'd call that. Big something on her head. Give you a little bit more target if you're trying to peek easily. People may see you, your little horns peeking out of the head. And it may not be the funnest experience for you. Also, skins like Power Cord, which she has these spikes hanging out from her head. That is going to be really bad for peeking as well. And maybe even stick through walls and stuff like that. Uh, another good example may be, you know, Battle Hound with his big head. Also, Fireworks Team Leader with that humongous bat head that can be seen. And also, Crack Shot being a skin that not a lot of people have, but... Maybe a little bit bad for competitive. You'll see a lot of people use green skins for competitive advantages, and that's basically why. They are basically the default skin, but a little bit of design to kind of interest you, and you're not a default, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. And that is basically how you're going to do that. 
So I'm going to basically set up a skin. There you go. That's all you need to make your skin basically pay to win. Camouflage, no hats or accessories or spikes hanging out from your head. Very, you know, basic, not taking up a lot of room. And for the pickaxe, or I'm sorry, for the back bling, you may not even want a back bling. Something like the backup plan will work. The hatchling, the red shield. But when you get to the alpine ace, she, those skis are going to be sticking up maybe from a roof out of a wall or something like that it's not going to be good and it may give away your position the cape i don't really know what would be the problem with that just to be safe you may not want to battle shroud should be fine stuff like astro should be fine the six string basically anything that goes above the natural head should not be worn in competitive i mean that could be sticking above you know a piece of wood and they may automatically know that you're there something like the buckler is completely fine, but when you get to something like the six string or the love wings, that may be a little absurd. Also, when it comes to pickaxes, you're probably going to want to use a pickaxe like studded axe, bat, bat's coal, four buter, something that's pretty much the exact same size as the default pickaxe. I mean, you look at something like, uh, where, where is it? Uh, Rainbow Smash, very big, also has that mystic magic stuff coming off of it so make it lay your position also it may take up more of your screen like the global axe if you're farming maybe you're looking around for players around you that could take away either your position or block your screen too much other one another good one is the lolly axe and maybe even something like the balloon axe where it maybe is just so bright it gives you away your either your position or it gives away you know, your screen because of how bright it is. If I'm running a pickaxe for competitive, I would definitely go for four beater. Looks cool and also does not take up any screen or doesn't have bright colors. And as for gliders, you probably just want to go with your basic umbrellas. That would probably be basically good. And contrails, you may even want to put on your thing for default. Obviously, there's a little bit of a glitch, but I mean, think about it. If you're landing on the outskirts, saying you're some sort of tournament or something, the flames may give away your position, and enemies may know somebody landed over there by Lonely Lodge. Somebody landed at the mansion. Something like that, if you know what I mean. So, that's basically it. Um, I'll probably just go in gameplay now and kind of show you basically my perfect setup, which is probably this. It is not anything crazy. It's not anything dumb, ridiculously overpriced. It's just how to, you know, basically make yourself uh, pay to win. Nothing really, you know, too crazy going on with the outfit. It may have to do with something pay to win. Obviously, you see no back bling. You see nothing but just, you know, less taken up by the screen. The pickaxe is cool, has a cool design, but it is not absurd at all. Man, when I'm making these videos, dude, I swear, I find the newbiest people who will land on a hill. Come on, let's do a little tussle. Got 90 health. He only needs 9 hits. I don't want to get hit. Oh, I did. What? But. No. Bro. Oh. Okay. But. Uh, that That's basically the video. I just kind of want to showcase maybe some people who are getting into competitive. They want to know how basically, you know, making their skins, like, taking less of their screen. Nothing is kind of basically, you know, covering their head and stuff like that and obviously the pickaxe won't be sticking through it is not absurd and it, it obviously camouflage is a big part of it i mean say i were to have to you know hide behind this tree right here and i would be completely fine well not completely but it'd be le less noticeable noticeable if i was not using like dark voyager or for yeah dark voyager or like john wick or something like that if that makes any sense if you guys didn't enjoy the video leave a like and subscribe it's a short little video uh I'll be live streaming tomorrow because I did not have time to today. So yeah.